I was literally about to go to bed and then my friend Mark texts me and he goes, did you see the trailer for Sing? And I went, no, I haven't. And he's like, it's pretty good. It's kind of goofy, but it works. He liked it. And I said, all right, I'll give it a watch. So uh, I'm going to watch it with you guys. I don't know anything about this movie. Truly another raw reaction like it was for Beauty and the Beast. Uh, I'm always for the promotion of, you know, lesser known studios animated movies uh you know dreamworks pixar and disney definitely run it but dreamworks you know lost a lot of money and is now owned by universal and pixar and disney are like the big powerhouses and they pretty much run the animated world so i'm curious to see what sing will do uh universal with uh illumination with the minions has a pretty good fan base but i think pixar and disney are definitely the top dogs so i'm curious to see what sing has in store for us all right let's watch sing one Two, three. Oh, wow. All right, so it's universal for illumination. Okay. Kind of looks like Zootopia. And they're apes? I haven't seen pads. What do I do? The animation's pretty cool. No, my next show is gonna be drum roll, please. Okay. A singing competition. Just think, your neighbor, the 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 grocery. The ape looks like Turk. Chicken, right there. Or the gorilla. Real talent from real yeah. life. Norman, would you please tell huh. them what a good singer I am? Oh yeah, you were great, honey. <laughs> By the way, the bathroom sink is blocked again. <laughs> Me a win. That prize, it's mine. Everyone in the city gets a shot at being a star on my stage. Oh, God. Lady Gaga references. Oh, wow. Snail guts and pipes. <laughs> and the rabbits and Nicki Minaj. Wow. This isn't so bad. The pigs are cute. People say you're hosting. You're really funny looking. Right. The gorilla's cool. Wow. This Christmas sorry, comes up this year. This show is not gonna save your theater. Maybe it's time to just oh. move on. Come on, you know. That's John C. Riley. You can't just sing it. You got to show the fire and desire. The fire went out a long time ago. You are not gonna believe what I did today. <laughs> oh. I like this. I like the song. Universal does have good songs in their trailers. He's in jail. I wonder why. What is that? That's cool looking. Spies? Matthew McConaughey, Reese Witherspoon, Seth MacFarlane, Scarlett Johansson, John C. Riley, Tori Kelly on the that is or that. Don't let fear stop you from doing the thing you love. Aww. You know what's great about hitting rock bottom? What? There's only one way left to go. And Down. That's oh, <laughs> back up. Sing. Sing. Seriously. I like the, the Latino music playing right here. That's cool. Uh, first off, that's a very long movie trailer. It's three minutes long. Uh, um, I think the movie has high potential. I think it will make back its budget, but I don't think overall it'll be that good. I have a feeling it's going to get slammed by critics. Uh, John C. Riley, Seth MacFarlane, Reese Witherspoon, Scarlett Johansson, and Matthew McConaughey are all the voice actors in this film. And to me, I'm sensing another DreamWorks problem. And what I mean by the DreamWorks problem is DreamWorks, what they do in every movie they have, more or less, is they get A-list celebrities to voice their main characters. In Home, you had Jim Parsons and Rihanna. And Home, I hate it. I thought Home was one of the worst movies I've seen from DreamWorks. And you have two pretty funny and important celebrities in Hollywood as your main vocal cast. Uh, you know, in Sinbad, for example, you had Brad Pitt, Catherine Zeta-Jones, and Michelle Pfeiffer. Uh, back in the 2000s, Catherine Zeta-Jones and Michelle Pfeiffer were a lot bigger. 
uh, obviously Brad Pitt is still a pretty big deal right now. But uh, I, I feel that Universal is going to have the DreamWorks problem now that they've acquired DreamWorks. I'm sensing the DreamWorks vibe here. Um, that the A-list actors, I think, are going to be the box office draw. I mean, Seth MacFarlane's pretty funny. I'm curious to see if he's going to have any contribution to the script or the humor. Um, like, I, you saw my reaction. I really didn't laugh out loud that much. I kind of questioned it. I think it's a little goofy. Um, it's Illumination Universal, so they'll do what they'll do. I had thought it was a different company. I was thinking it was maybe Blue Sky or something. So I don't know what to really expect from this. I mean, I didn't hate it. It just it wasn't it wasn't that good. I mean, it's campy, it's goofy. Dr Universal bought DreamWorks, and I feel like they're doing the DreamWorks thing. Uh, the Minions and the Despicable Me franchise just works so well for them. Like Steve Carell, you know, he actually voice acts, which is what I like. Um, you know, this movie also has Reese Witherspoon. I think she can sing. I don't think they're going to dub over her voice. I don't know if Scarlett Johansson can sing, though, or if Matthew McConaughey can sing. Seth MacFarlane definitely can sing. Family Guy fans like myself know that. Kind of all over the place here. I mean, I like it. I don't like it. I don't know. It's interesting. I mean, I was glad to at least do this with you guys. Uh, share your thoughts about Sing in the comments below. It's a fun, interesting trailer. I've done a lot of trailer reviews on this channel recently. Um... I'm curious, do you like the reaction style, or do you want, like, a full trailer to play, then talk about it? I, I like reaction style. I think it's actually more enjoyable. So share your thoughts about what you want in the comments below uh, for that. Remember, the social media is always fun. Snapchat's my favorite one, so definitely hit me up there. And um, leave your thoughts about the sing in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys about it if you really want to discuss it. I don't know what else to say. All right. Talk soon. Bye.